Now, another Target 12 investigators exclusive, car tax winners and losers. Eliminating the hated car tax is a top priority for House Speaker Nick Mattiello. He promises under his plan, your car tax bill will be gone in five years. But some communities say they'll be getting the short end of the stick. Target 12 investigator Tim White has gone through state tax data and explains how. Speaker Mattiello says he has a plan to get rid of the unpopular car tax, but critics say it just rewards communities that overcharge their residents. The latest Department of Revenue figures show Rhode Islanders pay $220 million a year in car taxes. The tax that's just a stone in people's shoe. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello has pledged to eliminate the car tax in five years by having the state pay cities and towns whatever they currently collect. Every municipality is going to collect exactly what they are today. But is reimbursing towns what they charge for taxes the fairest way to disperse the money? Let's take a look at a tale of two communities, Cumberland and Pawtucket. In each community, the total value of all cars is roughly the same, $286 million in Cumberland and $288 million in Pawtucket. But under Mattiello's proposal, Cumberland would get $6 million, while Pawtucket would get $15 million from the state. Why? Because Pawtucket charges a much higher car tax rate. Because we did the right thing and we had the right tax rate uh, for cars, we're being penalized. Do you think you're getting punished for having a lower tax rate? Oh, absolutely. Cumberland Mayor William Murray calls Mattiello's plan unfair to towns that tax their residents responsibly. This is a, a, a town that is so financially strong. Why should the financially strong towns get hurt? Should we subsidize a Providence as an example? Uh, I don't believe so. Target 12 also ran the numbers to see how much communities would get if the Mattiello money was doled out by the value of cars rather than a town's tax rate. In that scenario, Cumberland would receive $4 million more than the Mattiello plan. What could you as mayor do for the town of Cumberland with $4 million? Well, oh, we could do a lot. In all, a Target 12 review of car tax data shows 25 communities would receive more money if the $220 million was split up using assessed value. Under the Mattiello plan, towns with higher tax rates get a bigger chunk, like Providence, Pawtucket, and his city, Cranston. This is the House Speaker on a recent episode of Newsmakers. The fact that some communities have different tax rates is one of the, uh, an additional reason why you may not want to do it. An additional reason why phasing it out is complicated. But as I've said, it's hard, it's complicated, and that's exactly what we're there to do. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, Mayor Murray's other worry about Mattiello's car tax plan and why he fears these costs could just be passed on to homeowners. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Madeline. New details now in a Target 12 investigators exclusive, car tax winners and losers. At 5, we revealed which communities would benefit the most from House Speaker Nick Mattiello's plan to eliminate the car tax. And new at 6, some community leaders are worried in the long run his plan might just shift costs to homeowners. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. No one likes to pay the tax on their car, but there are some that want to pump the brakes on Mattiello's plan, worried that years down the road, the General Assembly could have a change of heart. If House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello's plan passes, the state would reimburse cities and towns $220 million five years from now to eliminate your car tax bill. It's a regressive tax. We are one of the highest in the nation. A Target 12 review of Department of Revenue data found Mattiello's plan is based on tax rates. So towns that charge their residents at a higher rate now for their cars will get more than towns that tax a lower rate. I think it's ridiculous. We're funding other cities that are going to get much more, and I don't think it's a fair formula. Cumberland Mayor William Murray says there's another reason the plan doesn't sit well with him. The General Assembly has a habit of changing its mind. What happens two years down the road and somebody you knew comes in and says we're not going to do it anymore? Target 12 has learned Mattiello wants to cap how much money the state reimburses towns based on the current tax rates. So if communities run into leaner times years from now, they couldn't get a higher reimbursement from the state for car taxes. Our taxpayers 
are going to have to pick up. The taxpayer, the homeowner, and the business community is going to have to pick up this burden. It was designed poorly from the very beginning, so the solution's not going to be perfect. Speaker Mattiello has said the details still need to be worked out, but it's a priority for him because the car tax was the number one complaint he heard when knocking on doors during his re-election campaign. Doesn't mean you don't look for a solution. We're going to find the solution. We're going to give tax relief to our constituents because they deserve it. Governor Raimondo has a more modest proposal to address the car tax. It would cost the state about $60 million, which is far less than Mattiello's proposal, but it would only reduce the car tax, not eliminate it. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. This investigation continues on our website. Where does your community rank on the list of winners and losers? You can head over to WPRI.com right now to get the dollar amount.